yeah. Guys, I'm back, obviously. If you have me on Facebook or you see my Facebook posts, Dabbing Dishwasher, which is the page on Facebook, there was a moment that I just felt like shit. I was literally down in the dumps, but that's because of what happened just recently in Vegas. Whoever that human was decided to take all those lives. God, it's not cool. But that other vlog, happiness, guys, it's really hard and difficult in a sense to find happiness, whether it's in ourselves or for the people around us. Today, my shift at Texas Roadhouse was by far great. I love the people there, just like I love the people at Old Chicago. I'm currently going to About Time, the bar at, well, around the corner, around the parking lot from Texas Roadhouse. I just left Old Chicago to get my shoes. I switched my boots what I do before I go to work and it was just a good day it was an opening experience opening my eyes because I'm gonna be the only dishwasher since the beginning at Old Chicago I'm stoked and super happy for Deborah because she's leaving she chose this place ain't treating me well they're not doing great things for us and the restaurant in general. So, she chose to leave. Plus, she's getting paid $3 an hour. Well, three bucks more. I'm really proud of her. I'm happy for her. But, being a dishwasher seven days a week, being a YouTuber, yes, I flow positivity. I tell you all to be positive. But you have to know, guys. You guys literally have to know I'm not always positive. We all aren't. But at least somebody like me is putting a video out every day or every other day telling you all there's always a brighter side. No matter what. Because there literally is. It's really unfortunate what happened to that guy or with him, whatever. It's sad. Really, it is. Me, I'm going to currently... Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to about time. I'm going to have a couple of drinks. And... Hopefully... Not hopefully, I am going to feel better about how my life is. I woke up great today. I woke up happy. I came to work happy. So, what reason not to be? Plus, there's another dishwasher that just started. And he did a really good job. His name was... Oh, wait, wait. Let me think. Let me think. Ugh. Adrian's name, the dishwasher that trained me. That's the only name that's popping up in my head. <sighs> Charles. That's his name. Yeah, he killed it. He made shit happen, and goodness, I fucking love it. He's a good dishwasher. He, I guess, had so much stuff to say, so much stuff to talk about, but he was still kicking ass, washing dishes, being the sprayer, and running everything through. Um... I guess just like Mario, the other dishwasher, well, prep person that helps me in Old Chicago, he, um, what was it? Oh, my bad. Just like the other guy at Old Chicago, they are prepping the food. Well, they're both at a halfway house. They did something in their lives that landed them in prison or whatever. And shit, they're at a halfway house. Whatever it may be. They both, I think, only have a month and a half left in the halfway house. I 
have no clue. But <sighs> it was a good day, literally. I am happy. I am stoked with how today went. Like I said, guys, I'm not always happy, but you looking, watching at me through that glass screen, you have to know that there is always a brighter side to life. Because there is. <sighs> God. I don't know how else to say this. It's just how it should be. Life in general makes us just feel crazy. I'm happy to be the only dishwasher on YouTube. The only person that makes you all happy to a certain extent and keep a dishwashing job. You have no clue. Without a dishwasher, guys, cooks can't put the food on good plates, use the good clean utensils, and they can't take it to the servers, which servers give that food to the customers. Without all of that going on, if there's not a dishwasher like myself, customers will be waiting and waiting and waiting for food and if they're still waiting they usually walk out and when they walk out what happens there's no business there's no currency for our paychecks or for the restaurant in general so just be thankful if you're a dishwasher that you're there that you're keeping everything clean because no matter what Every shift or when you're washing dishes, you're going to always get dishes, no matter what. Whatever your shift is, 8 to 5, 5 to 9, or whatever time to close, there will be a tremendous amount of dishes until, until, no, there will be so much dishes to where you can't even walk, so... Who's washing them? You are. And those dishes will get knocked down. I assure you, they will. <sighs> I'm happy. It's just happiness in general. We gotta find happiness in ourselves and with good people around us that make us happy. It's really great. It was a good fucking shift. Me, Adrian, Charles, we killed it made that whole kitchen our bitch all those utensils those pans we made everything clean now <sighs> I'm just waiting until I get home until tomorrow because it's another day I'm gonna kill it literally I'm gonna kill those dishes clean I really don't know what I'm gonna title this vlog but the, uh, the description, like always, is in the bottom. It's that long description, what I feel about life, time in general, and the restaurant industry. No, if you want my Facebook, my Snapchat, Instagram, any of my social media handles, they're at the bottom. It is currently... 11.55, I probably won't get home till maybe 2 a.m., if not, hopefully earlier. Oh, what am I doing? I'm all gonna walk all the way around when I can just walk through these little bushes. <sighs> Humans, my viewers, my subscribers. Again, there's always a brighter side to life because it's literally too short of a life that we live. Seconds, minutes, days go by where we care too much about the little things and get the little things that fuck up our life and make us sad, mad, whatever. I'm dabbing dishwasher, Jesus Ortega. I don't dab no more. I don't get high anymore. It's been two months that I've been getting high. There's always a good side guys it's literally another day another dollar another kitchen 
and yeah, it'll be really cool. What's up, man? What's up, brother? What you need? Just gonna come in, have a couple of drinks if I can. You 